this video I'm going to show you how to um, add subtitles to a mover um, so first off you will need to either get the, the mover um, so I'm going to use um, Rush Hour 3 as an example um, second thing you need to do is to actually download the SRT file um, now usually you can just go to um, for example if you type in the name of the film um, something like non-English subtitles and um, then you've got um, sub scenes a good one um, open subtitles all subs there's quite a few of them and um, you will be able to download non-English just have a look through um, for example if I go onto one of these um, on here now as you can see um, you've got the language here so we want to find English and you've got all these here um, or shower 3 for non-English um, now bear in mind if I click on one of these you see how the frame rate comes up here as 25 uh, you'll need to make sure that the the, uh, the film is 25 frames per second so if I just show you how to get that first of all so if I just go to the films here and um, look for rush hour 3 um, uh, I've already done it there so with subs. so as you can see if I click on that see how the frame rate down here goes to uh, 25 frames per second and um, so that subtitle is good to go um, on this um, this video I've got and um, so once you've downloaded that put it into here and you should get a um, .srt file um, right there and what you need to do is you need to convert it to an um, SSA um, so to do this you will need to go to these links I have got in here um, so the first link um, is you need to download the xvid codec um, I will put all these links in the description so you can just click on the links and not copy them out here um, so you need to download the xvid codec um, virtual dub um, an SRT to SSA converter which I've just said and uh, the virtual dub subtitle plugin um, now just save these wherever you want I've just saved these into my document and adding subs and they're all and there um, I don't th I think it's only the xvid codec that installs and um, these three you just uh, save and um, you're good to go with them no installer needed um, okay so now that we've got the film the required programs and uh, the subtitle file first things first is to convert the subtitle to SR SSA so if you open up the uh, SRT to SSA converter um, simply just uh, if I just uh, delete the other file SSA one what I've got uh, we'll show Oops, we shall three. Um, so if I delete that SSA one, um, and now if we go back to the converter, we input, click browse, um, browse to that um, file. There we go, rush hour 3, um, click open and leave the output the same. It will just go to the same directory but put an SSA extension. You don't need to change any of these settings unless you really want to. Um, and then just hit convert and you'll see job finished. If you get some errors in here, um, don't worry too much but I would check over the, uh, the SRT by just opening it up and see if everything's all good. Um, so now that we've converted it, um, you'll need to open up uh, Virtual Dub. So I'll go to Virtual Dub and it's this one here, Virtual Dub Application. So I'll double click on that and you'll get this box. Um, as you can see that that SR, SSA has gone into there. Um, on Virtual Dub, if you go to File, Open Video File and select the um, 
the video which is that's with subs so that's without the subs if I click open on that one um, you'll get this here and you can scroll along here and view the video um, I don't know if you can see it um, so now to add the subtitles you go to uh, video filters click on add and then you want to go to load and then go to the subtitler so if you go to the subtitler folder and you should get a subtitler.vdf in there click on that and click open um, then scroll down to subtitler you'll should see it if you go on all the others say internal and this one says a different name click on that and click ok and um, then on here if you select this little box here um, and you want to find that SSA subtitle what you've just converted to so it's this one here this, this is SSA click on open click on OK and OK and subtitles have now been added to the video so if I had to go to a part where it's got non-English um, right about here somewhere it's a bit slow um, it should show up in the preview window um, I'm not sure why it isn't There we go. You can see it there. I've got the right spot. Um, the subtitles have now appeared on the. Um, this is the one video on the left is without subtitles. The video on the right is a preview with subtitles. So as you can see the subtitles have come up. Um, then what you need to do is um, add some compression to the video. Otherwise you'll get a film that's like 60 gig long. So to do this, that's why the Xvid codec you need to download. Go to um, video and compression then click on xvid mpeg4 codec and click ok and then all you need to do is go to file um, save as avi and you'll get a um, save box I just add um, with subs on the end of that and um, click save and it will start rendering the video um, it takes about half the time of the film roughly so if the film's an hour and a half um, it will take about 45 minutes to render um, or depend on your computer speed it will be different so it's roughly about half to the full length of the film usually um, so thanks for watching and I will see you in another tutorial.